All right, what's going on guys, it's Jeb. And finally, after weeks and weeks and weeks of wearing this hat, especially during videos so people don't roast the ever living shit out of me, I am finally, finally doing a scalp review. This is so fucking stupid. <laughs> so a little backstory on this whole thing. I'm not like the Quan or some shit like that where he had to do his whole hairline reveal because he's like, it's not like that. I had a bit of an accident. So it's also something I could control. So yeah, I'm just fucking stupid. So basically a quick little rundown on exactly what's been going on and why people are even asking for this for those of you that don't know. So I uploaded the video a while ago called I Messed Up. Where in that video, I basically explained that I absolutely hate my hair. My hair naturally is very, very curly. Ever since I was a kid, I had kind of like a fro thing going on and all that stuff. And I started growing out of it, started getting very annoyed with, you know, just the style of the hair and everything, uh, just trying to manage it and all that other stuff. So around middle school time or so, I started doing a whole bunch of different things to my hair, like a bunch of different ways to straighten it, to make it more, I don't know, just easier for me to deal with. The texture of my hair, I just couldn't stand it. So so I did a whole bunch of things in order to make it more manageable. So I've been doing this for years. I've had it chemically straightened. I've used a normal straightener. I've had like keratin and all the sorts of other shit. And mainly the biggest problem area is this part on my head up here. And this was just a normal thing where my hair was getting out of control. It was starting to grow out a whole bunch. By the way, I just got a haircut. So that's why I'm like a little bit more confident in showing you guys the whole thing. I ended up getting a haircut. They were looking at the scalp and everything. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but you can tell it's definitely damaged when you really go underneath of the hair and all that stuff. But basically I decided to try to get my hair straightened like I straightened it myself I've done this multiple times in the bathroom and uh, I guess there's a difference between uh, this time and the last time that I did it I wasn't taking good enough care of my scalp in between those two times so I have psoriasis in certain areas I have eczema basically just a lot of different dry skin and all sorts of shit that goes on on top of my head parts of my face things like that that I have to moisturize and stuff like that on a normal basis I did not do a good job moisturizing my scalp before I went and used these chemicals and stuff on my hair like an idiot and in the process of doing that, I basically, since the skin couldn't really handle it, it's not even supposed to end up on your actual skin sitting there. You get it down to the root, but they recommend definitely not getting this stuff on your scalp. It ended up on my scalp with the weakened skin because it's so dry and just flaky and all sorts of shit. And I know it sounds gross, but basically that skin could not, it couldn't handle it. So I ended up getting multiple first degree, second degree, I don't know what kind of degree burns all over my head. And uh, it hurt incredibly bad. And so over the past few weeks, my girlfriend Alexis, she's been nursing my scalp back to hell. And so, uh, I mean, I guess I'll show you guys because before there was blood, there was uh, a lot of redness along this area, along the hairline. That hair definitely is not as solid as any of the hair on top of my head. So that hurt really, really bad. Had multiple things just done to it. So and also people think it's way worse than it actually is. To be fair, it was pretty bad at first, um, but it's recovered way better than I thought it would. I genuinely thought I would have to shave my head because of fucked up things with like a hairline or something, but. All right. Yeah, here's the hair, here's the hairline, here's everything. Uh, you can see a little bit of pink and stuff like that around here. It's basically scarring now. I always kind of had a little bit of redness along this area because of how dry it was, but now it's like an actual like shiny scar. You can kind of see it like reflecting off the light at times. I have like a big thing on the back of my head as well. A bunch of scabs and all sorts of nasty fucked up shit on my scalp all the way up here. But it looks much better than it was. Obviously I got the haircut as well. I couldn't get a haircut uh, during the time that it was really, really bad. Obviously for, you know, it would just be a mess. I don't even think any barber or anybody would even take me in that kind of condition so my hair was like really crazy and I just had it cut recently so everything looks a lot better than it was and my hair was all grown out on the sides was hanging over my ears and all sorts of shit but this is a scalp people just really wanted me to make a video on it and uh yeah you know for a couple weeks I've walked around like unmasked Jason and uh I don't really know how much uh further I need to go into detail oh also because of the amount of things that had to be put on my hair it's a mixture of like aloe a whole bunch of other things for moisturizing and repairing and all sorts of stuff I had to repeatedly have my head wrapped with all of these things in my hair and all over my scalp so my hair was like disgusting right uh, but also the stuff sat in my hair for so long that some of the medicine was like green I guess because it has like aloe and stuff basically dyed my roots green I don't know if you can see any of it now but uh, I ended up having to get like a toner to try to get rid of some of the green in my hair it was looking really weird but yeah don't need to go bald or anything just some scars and stuff along the hairline and I'm sure all over my head so hopefully if one day I, if I have to go bald or some shit like that the 
scars won't look too bad. I don't know. Kind of in the recovering process. It's still definitely dry and very itchy in some areas and there's scabs and things like that that I really don't want to show all over my video and stuff, you know. Probably won't need to wear the hat as much anymore. I also need to avoid wearing uh, the other usual snapback shit I would wear. They were saying like it's just because of how fucked up my hairline was getting with this whole thing, how much damage it took. Putting a hat on that just rests on this hairline the entire time, they already recommend you not to wear this shit anyway. Uh, at least all the time like I was doing. If I'm gonna wear a hat at all, it probably will be a beanie, but probably a little less mugger slash burglar-esque type of thing. Maybe get like a different one that's a little bit more uh, stylish. But uh, I'm definitely, definitely gonna have to avoid that. Definitely the hat is part of the reason why my scalp uh, suffered so bad because I didn't need to even pay attention to my hair just because I hated it so much, you know? But uh, I just need to learn how to live with it and you know, go with it from here. If I'm ever gonna have anything done chemically ever again, I'm gonna make sure that my scalp is in a good condition. And uh, yeah, cause I was really close to actually losing hair and shit. So uh, if I had kept that on as long as I thought I was supposed to, I would have been in big, big fucking trouble. But yeah, anyway, hairline's good, we're cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah, I'm not bald. Sorry, I don't have any gnarly ass scars to show you guys. Put the MIP in my